Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video was prepared for subject MAT183 or MAT421, which is a mathematics subject known as calculus 1. Now we go to the first topic in the calculus 1, that is introduction of limits. The limit is the basic concept which allow us to describe and analyze such change. An understa understanding of limit is necessary to understand derivative, integrals, and other fundamental topics of calculus. So, what is the definition of limits in mathematics? Here is definition of limits. If the values of fx get closer and closer, as close as we want, to one number L, as we take values of x very close to but not equal to a number C, then we say the limit of fx as x approaches C is L. Or in mathematics, we write Symbol for, met, uh, for limit is lim, lim, fx, as x approach to c is equal to l. This symbol means approach or get very close to. There are two types of limits. First is one-sided limit. And then, we have two types of one-sided limit. First is left-handed limit. Definition for left-handed limit is the values of fx can be made as close as we want to L by taking values of x sufficiently close to C or less than C. And mathematics, we write left-handed limit as limit for the function fx as x approach to c and we have symbol negative uh, on c is referred to the left-handed limit is equal to l the value of the limit the second one is right-handed limit which is the values of fx can be made as close as we want to L by taking values of x sufficiently close to C or greater than C. Symbol for right-handed limits in mathematics we write as limit fx as x approach to C and we have sign positive on the C is referred to the right-handed limit is equal to L, which is the values of the limit. Next is two-sided limits. The two-sided limits requires the values of fx to get closer and closer to L as values of x taken from either side of x equal to c. This means we look uh, for the value fx, x equals to c from the both side, left side and right side, means we need to find the value of left-handed limit and right-handed limit. And the symbol for two-sided limit is limit fx, function fx, as x approach to c. There are no sign positive or negative on c which means a uh, two-sided limit is equal to L is the value of uh, limit. For example, if we have this graph, we want to find two-sided limits, so then we need to find left-handed limit and right-handed limit. For left-handed limit, we will find a uh, function fx for example, this is function fx and this is c. So if you want to find 
left handed limit means we find limit for the function fx as x approach to c and then we put sign negative means left handed limit we look uh, the value of x this is x exists so we look the value of, of x from the left side on the from the left side c this is c so we look from the left side for the graph look from the left side go to c and then we look the value of y here is l so limit for the function fx when x approach to c from the left is l so we get the value for the left handed limit is l and then we look for the right handed limit this is left handed limit for right handed limit the symbol is limit for the function fx when x approach to c and then we put symbol positive on c means right handed limit so this one we will find the value of x look here for our graph our x from the right side from the right side c so this is c from the right c we find the value from the right c go to c here so we find that the value of y is equal to l so this right handed limit is equal to l remember x approach to c from the right we put symbol positive we look the value of x approach to c from the right from the right c we go to c and then for x approach to c sign negative we look the value of x from the left c from the left c go to c and then we look at the value at the y axis is equal to l so if both value for the left handed limit and the right handed limit is the same value then uh, we can write two sided limit means limit fx x approach to c there are no sign for negative or positive means this is two sided limits means we have look for the both side of limit both side left and right handed limit we have look the value is equal to l so we get the two sided limit this two sided limit is equal to l so the relationship between one sided limit and two sided limit uh, i have explained just now uh, if we want to find fx limit fx as x push to c we need to find uh, limit from the left side x approach to c negative from the left side and limit fx x approach to c from the right side symbol positive a right side and it must be a same value then we will get the two sided limit or limit for the function fx x approach to c is equal to l alright so now we look at some example so if we want to find a limit for the function fx this graph is our function fx as x approach to 1 so first we need to find left handed limit for the function fx so we write limit x approach to 1 from the left symbol negative on 1 so uh, x approach to 1 this is our x exists 
this is x equal to 1. So when uh, when x approach to 1 from the left, means from the left we look uh, for our graph, from the left go to x equal to 1, and then we look the value of y. Here, y is equal to 2. So the value for our limit, left-handed limit, is equal to 2. And then we find limit from the right side for the function fx as x approach to 1 and then we put symbol positive on 1 means right-handed limit. So x approach to 1, look here our 1, uh, x approach to 1 from the right means from our graph, from the right side 1, from the right go to 1. And then we look for value at y is equal to 2. So limit for the right side is equal to 2. And then we look here, our value from the left side is 2 and from the right side is 2. We have same value. Then we can write limit for function fx as x approach to 1 is equal to 2. And then remember for the open circle here is excluded 1. Exclude 1. Not not include 1. For the circle uh, here is included 1. So if we write this one, uh, if we want to find f1, mean uh, x equal to 1, fx equal to 2. So we look at the uh, this black circle, black circle is include 1. So for x equal to 1, y equal to 3. So f1 is equal to 3. Now we look at this example. We have piecewise function here. This piecewise function means the whole, the whole function, the whole graph is function fx all right this is our function fx so now uh, if we want to find limit from the left side for example limit fx x approach to 1 from the left so we put sign negative on 1 from the left side so x equal to 1 uh, here is x exists, uh, x equal to 1 here. So from the left side, from the left 1, from our function, from the level, left 1 is uh, this, this graph, x approach to 1 from the left. We have this graph from the left 1. So when x approach to 1 from the left, go to 1, yeah, from the left, go to 1 then we look at the value at y as this is equal to 2 so we get our left handed limit is equal to 2 then if you want to find limit from the right side limit fx x approach to 1 and then we put sign positive on 1 means right handed limit so we look our x equal to 1 here, x equal to 1, from the right 1, uh, from the right 1, our graph from the right 1, we have this graph, x approach to 1, from the right, from the right, go to 1, yeah, from the right, go to 1, and then we look at uh, value of y, here is y equal to 4, so we get our right-handed limit is equal to 4. So we look here, our left-handed limit is equal to 2 and right-handed limit is equal to 4. We don't get the uh, same value. So, uh, this means limit uh, for two-sided limit fx, x approach to 1, does not exist. Because the value for the left side and the right side did not 
get the same value. So we write limit f x, x approach to 1 does not exist. We need to get the same value for the left side and right side to get the value for the limit f x, x approach to 1. Alright, next, if we want to find f1, f1 means x equal to 1 and then we find the value of y. So this one, uh, x equal to 1, uh, it means include 1. x equal to 1 is include 1. So uh, we take the uh, black circle here, is refer to uh, x equal to 1. The uh, circle for whole whole circle yeah, as, uh, is excluded. So for included one is the black circle y equal to 3. So f1 is equal to 3. Alright, next we have uh, some example. Uh, if we want to find limit for the function fx as x approach to positive infinity uh, x approach to positive infinity means uh, uh, x go to the positive numbers so for the positive numbers for our uh, x exists here positive numbers means at the right side of the function so uh, if x becomes positive so our graph at the right side here go to the positive numbers so our y becomes uh, infinite and uh, it must be the positive numbers infinite go uh, up and we get the positive value of y so for the limit x approach to x approach to positive infinity we will get positive infinity and then if we want to find limit fx as x approach to negative infinity x approach to negative infinity uh, we look for our graph when x go to negative uh, so this is x exists so negative value must be uh, at the left side so our graph involved is this one for the, for the left uh, for the left graph go to the left side so we get our value of y becomes negative numbers so limit for fx x approach to negative infinity we will get negative infinity